What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad A9 here, bringing another review today, and we are on to Halloween Resurrection, of course, film that takes place after H2O. And I'm easily going to tell you right now, this is my least favorite film of the franchise. I didn't have to rewatch any of these films to realize that this has widely been known that I don't like this film. This is probably one of my least favorite horror films. So, of course, we're going to be getting some spoilers. So, if you haven't seen this film, go run out and watch it, even though I don't recommend you watch it. But go run out and watch it so you can come back and talk with me about it. So Halloween Resurrection. Oh, man, this is the one where I just, they lost me with this one, man. Like, I didn't like the only, we'll get the positives out of the way first before we get into the negatives and stuff. Because so, I don't want to make this just like a slam dunk, like smashing video on it. What I do like about this film is that we do have Brad Laurie as Michael Myers. I think he actually does pretty good in this film as the Michael Myers. And he gets some pretty decent kills throughout the film. So those are things that I'm not really mad about at all. But now we're going to get into the negatives, and like I said, there are a lot of negatives, big gripes with this film, because this is uh, just probably one of my least favorite horror films out there. So even though we have Rick Rosenthal coming back to direct this film, who is a director who is previously known in the Halloween franchise, he did Halloween 2, I think this one, Halloween Resurrection, just the story, the central focus of it, they just lost me, especially the fact that they killed Laurie Strode in the first like 10, 15 minutes of this movie. I didn't really enjoy that at all. Like, And I think Jamie Lee Curtis, this is the one movie where I think <clears throat> she kind of phoned it in. And she's only in it for like 10 minutes, so you can't really like tell tell. but I think this is the one where she kind of phoned it in, didn't really want to do this movie. And then add to that, we got a lot of other characters too, and I didn't like any of the side characters or any of the actors that end up going to Michael's house and all that stuff and trying to film the webcam series horror thing, like Haunted Mansion stuff. Like, I just didn't buy into any of them. Busta Rhymes, Tyra Banks' character, I think what Miles is the boy, and Sarah, our other main girl protagonist character. Like, I just didn't like any of them and didn't vibe with any of them. So as I'm watching the film... I'm like, oh, it'd be dope. Like, pretty much all the parts I like are just seeing them get killed because I'm like, oh, I want them to all die because these characters are pretty annoying. And like I said, Michael Myers' performance is good, but the story, everything else in this film holding it together, I think this is the one in the franchise that they could have done without for sure. To me, this is the point where I think they should have rebooted the franchise. This one came out in 2002, so it's not too far off of, like, Rob Zombie's Halloween but I think this is the point. Instead of doing Resurrection, they should have did a storyline and they're like, all right, let's reboot it. We did H2O, had this epic ending with Lori and Michael fighting and she cuts off his head. So we gave the fans what they wanted. Now let's reboot it and start something anew. And the, the story of this one does kind of sound intriguing as to like, oh, what would happen if Michael did kill Lori Strode? And then like, where would he go? Obviously, he'd go back to his house, but just what ensues as he gets to the house and the storyline it just it didn't vibe with me at all Let the danger it kind of feels like that just that early 2000s horror stuff that was always going around like we're gonna you know the teenagers and the actors that they get in this film were just not something i was gravitating towards and that was like the worst thing about it because we spend the most time with these characters you know what i mean and i think i actually found out too that this script was wrote like written with not even Michael and them in it like they actually wanted to use the script for something else but then they ended up putting Michael and them in it and making it a Halloween script so this one is just like I said it has no focus not great execution and as I said I think this is just the least favorite of mine for sure out of the Halloween franchise and even as we get into that third act I cannot forgive watching Michael just take you know Taekwondo Muay Thai kicks from you know Busta Rhymes and not do anything about it I think he tosses Busta Rhymes like maybe one time and that's it and then the pretty much the rest of the fight is just Busta Rhymes kicking Michael Myers ass so it's just oh man it's just stuff I didn't want and then we get to that third act like the very end and we get that cliffhanger scene where it's like oh no michael opens his eyes and it's like you know because they just want to it felt like a cash grab like cash you know thing that they just made this movie to like oh let's you know keep the rights let's get some more money milk it a little more and i'm just like that wasn't a good idea at all so overall in my book halloween resurrection is going to get a two out of ten like i said this is just oh, it's a very Bad film. I wouldn't recommend watching this film. Like you know, like I said, if you don't bother by spoilers, we already talked about it and everything. But this one, yeah, two out of ten for me. This is my least favorite. I don't want to return to this one out of all the Halloween franchise films. This one, I'm just like not Jones and Four. 
But like I said, this is just my opinion. Everybody else has their own opinion, so I would love to hear from all of you. Do you like Halloween and Resurrection? Are you a fan of this film? Are you middle mediocre ground? Are you just like don't like this film like me? You know, of course, there's tons of us out there horror fans, and I would love to hear from all of you. And as a course, don't forget to drop a like too and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the videos I'm going to be posting because we're going to be getting into Rob Zombie's Halloween and Halloween 2018. But I'm also going to be dropping like some other spooky Halloween videos and stuff like that, like my top 10 list of films to watch around the Halloween season. They're not my favorite horror films, but they're my favorite to watch around the Halloween season that really capture the vibe of this season. So stay tuned. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.